What's going on Warriors? We're back in there. We're ready to do this thing. I ain't wasting any time. The Warrior Boys. Thank you so much for everyone for subscribing, for adding me on Twitch, adding me on Twitter, give me the plus ones on Google Plus, sharing, liking my videos, following me, subscribing on every platform media, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, everything, YouTube, love you guys. We're gonna get into this thing, talk about Street Fighter 5, Street Fighter V, SFV, SF5, however you want to call it, the R Mika reveal trailer, or Rainbow Mika, that's what the R stands for. So, yeah, the, I love the trailer. I was so hyped. When I was watching it, I had a big smile on my face, man. By the end of the trailer, I just realized I was smiling throughout the whole trailer. Like, it legitimately made me happy. But it was the nostalgia. When I used to play Armika in the arcades, I, my Kami was my character. Right, yeah. Even in the advent of Ryu, Akuma, and Rolento, and their broken theism, I was picking Kami. That was my character. I love that character, the killer bee. But I picked Armika as well, randomly. Like, you know, you pick various characters, but Armika was one of my favourite characters. Now, I can't see what people are doing in America and Japan, and because this was before the advent of the internet. So, technology of video games, when you found out, like, new stuff and broken stuff and, like, stuff that was really, really powerful, you couldn't share it because there was no internet to share that kind of stuff with. It's only when people went on holidays to, like, America, Japan, or Europe, and they saw somebody doing something, they were like, what the hell is that? That is broken. That's how things would get just found out all over the world. But it was very, very, very rare. So, what happened was... In this country, what I could say in the UK, from what I could talk about, it was different other countries, so I'm talking from my perspective. If I'm wrong, the comments are down there. Tell me your stories about Armika, what you knew in the arcade back in the day. What I know, my personal perspective, is she was a troll character. She wasn't a serious character. She was very weak. Her throws took off no damage. Her 360 punch had no range. And it had no damage. None whatsoever. She had a 360 and kick as well, where it was like more of like a, a running, running move, not a running move, but she just like grabs you and sits on you and then throws you, right? No damage. I mean, that was her best damage move, but it had so much start up and she like runs into you almost, like falls onto you. So she had no really good moves, like her butt splash wasn't very good. She had like this kind of like wrecker punches or something like that when she punches you. No, that was her super when she goes and um, she punches you a lot of times and like jumps and sits on you. So she wasn't actually that good of a character, but she was a fun character. People picked her because they wanted to make her work. Even though it was a useless venture, you'd only pick her against people that you know you could beat. Like when you're playing against somebody that's a good player or decent player and you knew you were going to win anyway, you could pick a random select and win. You pick Armika. Some people would. And some people try to make her work. They'll get bodied though. They'll go back to go back to their mains. Or go back to the drawing board. But that's really what Armika was. She was a troll character. Not a serious character. She had a lot of tools. But none of them were any good. The theory behind them were good. She had a long range drop kick. She had a slide. She had a good hard punch that reached quite far. She has a throw. She has a splash. She has long limbs. None of them were any good, all her normals had too much start up, they were too slow, they had too much recovery, she was practically useless, her throws had no range, her supers were odd to say the least, she had one good decent super where she like punches you a couple times and sits on you, and she had another super where she runs into you and puts you onto a ring, a wrestling ring comes into the st into that uh, stage, the, um, the battle, and she can super suplex you off it, or do a uh, 5 star frog splash or something like that. It's been a long time, I think it's almost 20 years since I've played that game, so I might be getting something wrong. But she did have one move, I do remember, she had like a headbutt, that headbutt that you saw in the trailer, that was a really good move in the, um, Alpha 3, like really good actually. But that was basically about it, that was like her best move, she was a pointless character, but I liked her. Because of her character. She was such an eccentric, crazy character. And that's what made you like her in the old days. Well, for me personally. You know, so when they started to release her in this one, she looks like a good character. Like, they've given her utility, like her hop kick, where she goes over low. Oh, yes, yeah, she goes over lows. Now, she had that in Alpha 3, but you could still sweep the move. Because <laughs> it had so much start up. It wasn't 
like a mid, like it wasn't like throw invincible or low invincible straight away. This one it looks like it's throw invincible straight away, and it looks like it's just she goes off the floor and it's low invincible. And because it's like an air invincible style, you can't throw it like throw invincible could not throw it because she's in the air already. So that's what I'm hoping it is. But already it looks like a good move. Her slide is still there, doesn't go as far as it did, but it's still good for going on the fireballs. She, and it looks like she got a Stone Cold Stunner, which I think, I, I'm not too sure, but I think that's her V-reversal. Because in the trailer, it looked like she was blocked, and then she did it. She did like um, the kick into the Stone Cold Stunner, which is ridiculous. I could not believe it. Her V-trigger, she calls it her friend called um, Nadesco. Yeah, Nadesco, right? And she does like, kind of like, she can call her friend to come and hit you. I think like her friend can like do, if you press the, um, her V, um, v trigger, her friend can come, come in from behind you, can come in front of you, can come above you, or run and do a slide, or do a drop kick from in front, drop kick from behind, or, I don't know, but her friend looks like, that's her V trigger, that's what it looks like. Her V skill is she grabs a microphone, and she talks into the microphone, and it pounces up her throws, and then she can, she's got armor. She actually has armor and her throws become powerful and she can just grab you, does more damage. So she looks like a really good character. Like she has like multiple throws, good throws. She has like an air grab move, like um, Alex's um, knee. Alex's um, knee grab in the air where he grabs you and then just knees you to the floor. She's got like an air throw kind of like DP, like El Fuerte. She looks like she got some really good moves, man. Like she can grab you and she does like an Irish whip into the corner. Irish whip is when they grab you and then, you know when wrestlers grab the uh, wrestler and they throw them into the ropes and then the wrestler bounce off the ropes and they clothesline them. Yeah, that's an Irish whip. She looks like she got an Irish whip and then she could do anything she wants. Whether she could do combos. She looks like she's got wreckers. She looks ridiculous. Like she looks really, really good. I'm so happy Capcom actually listened to the people when people say, Armika. Oh, Oh, Mika, and that made her a legitimate character, not a troll character, not a jokey jokey character like she was in Alpha 3, she looks like she does damage, she looks like she's a threat now, like she's a legitimate troll character, because let me be honest, in Alpha 3 she didn't even look like she was a troll character, because her throws are so useless, it's like what is she, what is she, she's nothing except a cool looking character with a cool attitude, you know like when she does her moves, the way she's like a proper like, over the top wrestler, I love it. I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon. I mean, so far, I mean, I did like Natali. Natali, I mean, I don't like his hair. His hair looks like kind of some kind of mad, mad tentacles or whatever. You know what I'm saying? From like some kind of mad hentai or something. So I'm, 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 I like Natali's style, but I don't like his hair. Straight up. Ken, he impressed me. Everyone else is generic, except Bison. I like the way Bison looks. He looks good, looks brand new. Nash is cool as well. Chun Li's Chun Li, Ryu's right. The cast so far, okay, I'm not excited about the cast of Street Fighter V. Like, I'm not looking at it like, oh wow, this looks like an amazing cast. But there's characters I like. Nash, Bison, definitely Armika now. And let's see what they're going to do, because I feel like they need to make the game more exciting. More hype combos, more stylish combos and stuff like that. And bringing in someone like Armika does that. I'm happy and excited. I know what you guys think about the Armika trailer, the reveal for Armika, and what you think is going to be the next reveal for Street Fighter V. Okay, whereas, thanks for watching. Until my next video, stay blessed, stay tuned, and thanks for the support. Take care, guys.